Next week, mail ballots for Colorado's primaries begin arriving. And the campaigns are really ramping up their political ads. Democratic Senate candidate Andrew Romanoff is out with his first TV ad of the season. CBS 4 Sean Boyd gives it a reality check. In Andrew Romanoff's first TV ad of the primary season, he outfits the U.S. Capitol in Vegas fashion and claims it's a casino rigged to help special interests. Washington takes special interest money. True. Special interests give billions of dollars to political campaigns. Romanoff takes issue with special interests on Wall Street, claiming they're to blame for the recession. Wall Street gambles with our economy. That's arguably true, too. The subprime mortgage crisis was brought on in large part by lenders who made risky loans in the housing bubble. It's worth noting Washington had policies that encouraged them to gamble, too. Romanoff says when the housing market collapsed, lawmakers came to the rescue of banks because the special interests had lined their pockets. And then Washington bails Wall Street out. It's true, of course, Congress approved billions of dollars to bail out lenders, but it's misleading to suggest the bailout was aimed at paying back special interest friends. It was aimed at preventing a global economic meltdown. Romanoff is right. The resulting recession costs jobs, homes, and savings. He says it's all because of special interests. The special interests in Washington have more power than the people. And that's not just wrong. It's corrupt. That's opinion. Special interests represent the interests of millions of people. Nurses, teachers, environmentalists, firefighters, police, even Boy Scouts. And the law says it's okay for them to give money to candidates. The difference is... I don't take a dime of their money. I stand with you. That's true. Romanoff is not accepting money from PACs, political action committees. But here's what you need to know. The former state legislator is Johnny come lately to this issue. During his eight years in the state house and right up until a few months ago, he accepted tens of thousands of dollars from special interests, including bankers, insurers, and the mortgage industry. He even had his own PAC. He didn't stop accepting special interest money until January of this year, several months into his campaign. Bottom line, Andrew Romanoff is the one taking a gamble. His primary opponent, incumbent Senator Michael Bennett, outpaces him in fundraising and in the polls. Romanoff is rolling the dice, hoping by swearing off PAC money, he'll appeal to the anti-establishment crowd. I'm Sean Boyd. That's Reality Check. Throughout the campaign season, Sean will give the candidates' ads a reality check, letting you know if you're getting fact, fiction, or spin. To check out all of the reality checks or to post a comment on tonight's, go to the Reality Check blog on CBS4Denver.com.